The Colombian Army has made a significant strategic decision by deploying its 8x8 LAV-3 Armored Combat Vehicles VCBR, to Valle del Cauca, a region facing increasing threats from insurgency and organized crime. This marks a departure from the Army's previous deployment strategy, which saw these advanced vehicles primarily stationed in lower-risk areas such as La Guajira. Now, with Valle del Cauca emerging as a critical zone due to the presence of illegal armed groups, the Army has decided to employ 10 LAV-3 units equipped with Israeli-made Rafael turrets to bolster military operations in these conflict-ridden rural areas. The LAV-3's deployment in Valle del Cauca highlights its advanced capabilities in combat situations, particularly in regions where landmines and improvised explosive devices IEDs, pose serious threats. The LAV-3DVH double V hull variant, known for its improved survivability, features a hull design specifically engineered to deflect blast impacts away from the crew compartment, significantly reducing the risk of casualties in conflict zones. This enhanced protection, along with its 350 horsepower diesel engine that allows the vehicle to reach speeds of up to 100 km per hour, makes the LAV-3 a formidable asset in both urban and rural operations. The modular design of the LAV-3 allows it to be configured for various mission types with armament options ranging from the standard 25mm M242 Bushmaster cannon to a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun. This flexibility ensures the vehicle can engage a wide array of targets, from infantry to lightly armored vehicles, giving Colombian forces the firepower and adaptability needed to confront the diverse threats they face in Valle del Cauca. In 2023, the Colombian Army took a further step to enhance the capabilities of its LAV-3 fleet by equipping the vehicles with the Samson Dual Remote Weapon Station, RWS, from Rafael Advanced Defense Systems. This state-of-the-art system includes a 30 by 113 mm orbital ATK cannon and a 12.7 by 99 mm Browning M2A2 QCB machine gun, significantly boosting the LAV-3's firepower. The decision to standardize the Samson RWS across its armored fleet ensures compatibility with the Samson Mini RWS, which is already in service on other Colombian Army vehicles. Additionally, the integration of the Spike ER anti-tank system elevates the LAV-3's capacity to engage fortified positions and armored threats, giving it a decisive edge in combat scenarios against organized criminal groups and insurgents. While the LAV-3 represents cutting-edge foreign technology, Colombia has a history of developing its own armored vehicles to meet specific local needs. One such example is the ISBI, a locally manufactured vehicle that has proven effective in enhancing road security in the Chaco department, particularly along key routes like Cuibdo Medellin and Cuibdo Pereira. Despite initial skepticism from military leadership, the ISBI has gained recognition for its role in protecting convoys and maintaining security in regions vulnerable to ambushes and insurgent activity. However, criticism has been levied at the Army for neglecting its older fleet of E-11 Uruta vehicles, which, despite their age, still offer valuable armored protection. These vehicles, familiar to Colombian troops and well-suited for rugged terrain, could play an important role in operations within remote areas. Calls for refurbishing the E-11 Uruta emphasize the potential to maximize the utility of existing resources, ensuring that Colombia's military is equipped with a diverse range of vehicles to meet its operational needs. The deployment of LAV-3 armored combat vehicles in Valle del Cauca reflects a strategic shift in the Colombian Army's approach to addressing security threats in high-risk areas. With their advanced protection systems, upgraded firepower, and versatility, the LAV-3s are well-suited to tackle the complex challenges posed by insurgency and organized crime in the region. At the same time, Colombia's indigenous vehicle development efforts, including the ISBI, demonstrate the country's commitment to building local solutions that complement advanced imported systems like the LAV-3. As Colombia continues to confront evolving security threats, a balanced approach combining modern foreign technology with locally produced vehicles will be key to sustaining effective military operations in challenging environments across the country.